I cannot focus because every uh, in my mind I'm thinking only about my wife, my kids, my my family. How can I protect them? A man there from Gaza living here in the Piedmont Triad as the Israel Hamas war rages on is trying to reunite with his family. Salah El Sadi came to America as part of UNC Greensboro's Fulbright Scholarship Program in mid September. A few weeks into the program, this war broke out. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordeen. Now he is stuck in Greensboro and his family is stuck in Gaza. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer sat down with him this afternoon. Caroline, several people in our community have gotten together to help. Neil, Katie, they make, they're making sure Salah doesn't have to worry about where he's going to sleep or how he'll get his next meal. They're also helping him raise money in the hopes that he'll be able to get his wife and two young children out of Gaza. Salah didn't want to share any photos of them for safety reasons. He tells me he feels guilty knowing the people he loves most are living in tents and he's here. When I eat something, I cannot complete my, my, my lunch, my breakfast, my dinner. I cannot complete because I'm thinking about my family. How can I eat and my family without food? Salah El Sadi spends his days in a hotel room, watching the conflict in Gaza play out on television, knowing his family is living it. Follow uh, every day, every hour, every minute. I try to, uh, to call my family to connect, to follow news. Yes, all my times um, at TV and follow the news when the war will stop or end. He gets an update from his wife about once a week on his five-year-old daughter and three-year-old son. The couple exchanges text messages when they can. I try to send messages till now. Unfortunately, there is no reply because the connection connections lost. This is what the family's home looks like now. All my memories in this uh, in this house. Everything, unfortunately, is destroyed. I'm thinking about this. Also, I'm thinking about after war, how can we de rebuild? Salah's family had to move to Deir al-Bala, a Palestinian city in the central Gaza Strip, where they have no access to medical care, electricity, or other basic needs. There is no water, no food. Uh, my wife and kids in, uh, living in a tent, not in, because our homes destroyed. We lost everything, our jobs, uh, everything we lost. It's why he's working to get his family to safety. He's raising money with the help of community members through a GoFundMe to get his wife, kids, mother, father, and siblings out of Gaza and to Egypt. This is somebody who is now essentially a part of our community, and I think, um, you know, it would be it would be great to see more people come together and just you know, lift him up and help him. Nadia Schmidt and her family are helping by getting Salah's story out on social media. We had no idea our lives would drastically change. So far, hundreds of people have donated more than $18,000, getting Salah one step closer to seeing his loved ones again. Every day I pray for God to save them, to protect them. And I, I, I send this message to be patient. Salah tells me he needs more than $6,000 per person to help them make the journey from Gaza to Egypt. We'll have a link to Salah's GoFundMe posted on our website, myfox8.com. Katie. Caroline, thank you.